Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be dealing with an algebraic expression. We have x over 1 plus 2x plus y over 1 plus 2y plus z over 1 plus 2z equals 1. And now we're going to evaluate 1 over 1 plus 2x plus 1 over 1 plus 2y plus 1 over 1 plus 2z. I'll be presenting two methods. And let's start with the first one. Before I start with the first method, I just want you to observe if you make a common denominator in the first expression, you're going to get into big, big trouble. I mean, you can go ahead and try it for yourself. I haven't tried it, but it looks like it's going to be messy. And from that, from that equation, uh, since we have three variables, I don't think we're going to get something meaningful. Maybe we're going to get something nicer. I haven't tried it again, but I'll be presenting two easier methods. But if you do, please let me know in the comment section down below. So, here's the first method. Notice that x over 1, 1 plus 2x can be manipulated a little bit. And I'm going to do it for x first, and then it, it can definitely be applied to other variables. So if this, if this is like a function, f of x, then this would be the value of f of y, and this would be the value of f of z. All right, great. So let's go ahead and do the following. Start with x over 1 plus 2x. And then, and since I have a 2x at the bottom, not an x, I just want to write it like this. Can I multiply by 2 and 1 half at the same time? That will be equivalent to multiplying by 1, right? So now these two are equivalent, right? Because when the 2's cancel out, we get the same thing. But I want to take a look at this, take a closer look. We have the 2x in the numerator and the denominator. So why not break it down like this? I want to write the 2x as 2x plus 1 minus 1. Does that make sense? So I'm just adding 1 and subtracting 1. This might look like meaningless, like why would you do that? It's equivalent to adding one, uh, 0, but it has a meaning. Just like what we did with 1 half and 2, this is going to allow you to actually split up this expression into two terms that are being subtracted. So first of which being 1. So we can basically write this as 1 half to the power 2x plus 1 divided by 1 plus 2x, which is 1, minus 1 over 1 plus 2x. So what I did here, here is kind of like unsubtract two fractions or unsubtract a fraction. So when you have something like a over c minus b over c, like two fractions with the same denominator, you can subtract the numerators. But what if you have two numbers that are being subtracted in the numerator, then you can split it up into two fractions. Make sense? All right, so we're just basically undoing the subtraction problem. And let's hold on to that. So where does this come from? x over 1 plus 2x. But if you look at the original expression, we have that three times for different variables. So whatever I did with x can be done with y. And that will be the exact same thing, just replace x with y. That's what's really cool about substitution. You can just substitute y for x. And then the same thing for z. And you'll get the same. So you don't have to do it three times because you're going to get the same result every time. So there's no meaning, right? So we got this and look at that. Their sum is 1. So why not add them? Yeah, that makes sense, right? I mean, just go ahead and add these up. So you're going to get x over 1 plus 2x plus y over 1 plus 2y, and z plus 1 over 2z. 2z or not 2z. Yay. Now, when you add these, we got to be careful. They all have 1 half, so I can kind of take out 1 half. And then I have this 1 minus something, 1 minus something, 1 minus something. So inside the parentheses, can I just add the 1s? Like 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. And then minus, I'm just going to subtract all of these, 1 over 1 plus 2x minus 1 over 1 plus 2y minus 1 over 1 plus 2z. Awesome. So how can I simplify this? Well, I already know this is equal to 1 because it's given, right? It's given as 1. So this is 1 equals 1 half minus, oops, that's not right, 1 half times 3 minus. Now, the rest of the expression can be actually, uh, we can take out a negative 1 and write this as a sum because that's going to be better. Why? Well, if you look at the original expression, you're going to notice this is what we're trying to evaluate. Look at that. 
So they, they're all plus signs, and that's what we got. So if you call this A, and I'm going to use it for my second method too, I'm trying to solve for A, in other words, right? So I call this A. So let's call this A. All right? And now I'm trying to solve for A. 1 half times 3 minus, so in other words, 1 equals 1 half times 3 minus A. However, you did multiply by 2, it probably makes more sense. And from here, we get A equals 1. But what is A? 1 over 1 plus 2X plus 1 over 1 plus 2Y, right? Plus 1 over 1 plus 2Z, and that is equal to 1. That was the expression that was being asked. We were supposed to evaluate that. And as you can see, it is equal to 1 again. And so these things are equal. Is, does that have any meaning? Like, does that mean x, y, z are all 0? Why not, right? Well, if x, y, z are 0, then we have we run into a problem because 0 plus 0 plus 0 does not equal 1. But here's the thing. You can make up some values for y and z and then solve for x and then plug it into the second expression. And guess what? That will be the third solution. But uh, I leave it as an exercise. So let's talk about the second method. You already know the answer, right? But let's go ahead and take a look at another approach. So I have the following. 2x over 1 plus 2x. Uh-oh, I gave it away. Okay, never mind. Forget everything you've seen. So I have x over 1 plus 2x. Hocus pocus abracadabra. All right. So we know that this is equal to 1, and we're supposed to evaluate the same thing with 1 being in the numerators. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 here. And that is the secret sauce. I'm going to get this. You haven't seen me doing it before, right? You forgot it. OK, cool, cool. But this is cool to do. A lot of times I would forget to multiply by constant, but this time I didn't. So now this is what I have. And what am I trying to evaluate? This. Same thing with ones in the numerators. So it's nice to have the same denominators. And let's call it A again. And let's add these up. This is kind of like a faster way to do it. When you add these two things, you're going to get 2x plus 1 divided by 1 plus 2x. These two are going to give you 2y plus 1 over 1 plus 2y. And z is going to give you 2z plus 1 over 1 plus 2z. And this is 2 plus a. But guess what? This is 1. This is 1. This is 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 3. 3 is equal to 2 plus a. a is equal to 1. But what is a? a is 1 plus 1 over 2x plus 1 over 1 over 1 plus 2x plus 1 over 1 plus 2y plus 1 over 1 plus 2z, and that is equal to 1, one more time. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.